Where do we open it now? Whoa! <laughs> My name is Garmin and welcome to my channel New Leaf Podcast. This is one of my woolly goodies vlogs where I show you what kind of woolly, well, goodies I have bought over the last couple of weeks. So as you all know, it's quite a weird situation right now and um, to be honest, small business owners need all the help they can get. So over the last is it two weeks maybe more I have bought some <laughs> trees for myself and I bought those at small business owners so that I could support them just a little bit more first off I want to show what I have right here this is a brooch and it says hello my name is and then Carmen in hand lettering and then here it says new leaf designs I'm gonna show you up close I think it's so cute and um, I ordered this from finest imaginary they're um, they have an online shop um, with all kinds of jewelry and brooches and they have really really cool designs and this particular design is a collaboration with Rachel from ONR shop which I believe was Ono oh Ratio before um, but now it's just ONR I think um, I follow her on Instagram I think she's really cool she does hand lettering and uh, illustrations so I bought this brooch. They have them in necklace form as well. I bought it actually for yarn shows and workshops so that, you know, people don't need to feel embarrassed if they forget my name or anything. And I just, I just uh, think it's really cute too. But then, you know, now it's kind of bittersweet because all of those things will not be happening, at least not for the next couple months. So yeah, but... I do really like it and um, I hope to be wearing it soon enough. Okay, so the next thing you will already have seen in my last podcast episode and it is this bag. So this bento bag by Teen and Meep and you can um, tie it like this. I think you're actually meant to tie it one more time. Yeah, like this. So your project is kind of, has kind of like become a bag baby. It's swaddled in the bento back fabric. Uh, this is the medium size. And I have my Cozy Moments uh, work in progress in here, which is a one skein uh, project, but this one skein is 200 grams, so actually you could say that it's two skeins. And I also got this, what does she call it? Because I call them cake huggers. Um, I don't know if, she, uh, there is no name on here, but um, I call them cake huggers or yarn huggers. Uh, it's great if you work from the inside thread. You can just pop this on your yarn ball or yarn cake and it will stop it from collapsing because it's really it's quite tight. I'm not sure if it would have fitted the roll cake right at the beginning, but um, I don't know if I'm even halfway now, but it fits now. And uh, I've worked on it for quite a bit since. Uh, and it's quite stretchy. But yeah, um, you will need to um, try and wrestle it over your cake if it's quite big. But I love cake huggers. I love that, um, you know, my yarn ball is nice and secure and um, it's pretty as well. Uh, so I can continue working on my Cozy Moments shawl. So yeah, this is the medium size. I suspect the small size will be uh, great for a sock project and the larger size I think you could even fit a sweater project in there. Yeah, but I love this. I uh, love the fabric as well and uh, go check out her shop Teen and Meep. Then the next thing I bought is from Iris from the Dutch Yarn Barn. 
and I got these two mohair skeins from her and this is her lovely logo and ball band the Dutch yarn barn and you can see this is her silk cloud range these are actually the same colorway it's beach party uh, they look a little bit different but uh, because in the photo I just I just couldn't pick which one I like better so I just took both of them they are naturally dyed which I love and uh, they're just so gorgeous I mean I I know how difficult it is to get variegated tones in um, with the natural dyeing so I really respect Iris for that and it's just beautiful and um, it came packaged just the packaging was really cute the box was um, recycled but then she wrapped it in uh, wrapping paper it's so cute one of these envelopes with cat print and then a cute little note and her card so that's really cute I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna make I want to make another mohair type sweater like this because I wear it all the time and I have some white yarn in my stash that has a sparkly thread through it and I think that would be really great if I held it together with this I actually went and uh, found it so I have five five or six skeins from this it's merino something it, it was years ago um, and I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle ah yes I think you can see it here so it has a silver sparkle in it and I think that would be really cute uh, because I've been thinking of um, these skeins for a long time because I've had them for a long time and I originally bought them to dye but then I really don't know which color I would dye it maybe pink but then I don't know I have so many pink things um, so I think holding them together with this mermaid mohair will perhaps be the right choice but I'll have to see about that I have to swatch a little bit I also wanted to show you a sock set that I have bought from Iris I think it was last year at the Breidage I think uh, which, it is, which is a Dutch yarn festival and I got this sock set which is a Tweedy uh, base and uh, yeah this indigo mini and I've actually been thinking to um, knit some mittens with this or some gloves uh, but I've been putting it off because I thought eh, it won't be cold enough anyway and then there have been several times where I thought mm, I could really use those gloves right now <laughs> so I've been wearing an older pair but um, I'd really like to remake some of my older uh, mittens with this yarn so that's on my to-do list <laughs> but as you know or as you might think it's really really long so um yeah so i'm really happy with these skeins by iris thank you so much iris it's beautiful yarn and uh everyone go check out her website the dutch yarn barn then I went and got myself something from a Dutch yarn store, which is Blijderik Brei, um, which literally translated as something like, I'm happy to knit or I'm so happy that I knit. Um, and they're also called Atelier Jafari. Um, they, are, they are in the southeast, no, that's not southeast. I'm in the southeast. In the southwest part of the Netherlands. Just a couple of weeks ago, actually. Or was it last week? I think it was last week, actually. Last week, uh, we were supposed to go um, away with my family to uh, a cottage that we, we had rented uh, in the coastal region of the Netherlands, which sounds really exotic, but it's not. Um, but still, you know, at the beach and... Um, just you know have a, a week of nothing just walks and uh, playing video games and um, yeah just 
uh, going away for a week. But as you know, it couldn't happen. Uh, it was at Center Parks and uh, just the Friday before we were supposed to go, they announced that they had closed um, all of their parks, which of course is the best decision, uh, but it's just... I just wish that we could have gone, but... So on our trip, our, my mom and I, uh, we were planning to go to this yarn shop, which is Blei de Dick Blei. Um, and alas, we couldn't go, so I got something from their online shop. And I got three skeins of this baby alpaca yarn, which is called La Mana. Uh, I think that's the brand. Yeah, it's the brand is La Mana. And then this yarn range is called Piura. I have already caked up one, and I have started a little baby shawl, uh, which uh, was supposed to be the second version of my Scent of the Pine shawl, which I have right here. This is my upcoming shawl design. I am in the process of writing it right now, and it will be... Um, a pay pattern in my Ravelry store and I will also film tutorial videos uh, to go on my Patreon page. And yeah, I just really like it. And um, I wanted to make a second one for my boyfriend's grandma. Um, but I think this is just a little bit too thin. I'm knitting this on 2.5 millimeter needles. So I think I might just add a strand of mohair or or maybe knit, knit a double stranded uh, because this is just a little bit too thin to my liking. Um, yeah, I mean you, you can't see much yet. I've, I, I, um, I haven't even knit uh, some lace yet so this is just stockinette beginning of a shawl. But um, I just don't know. I might try the first lace section. But um, I want it to be nice and enjoyable to knit. And right now it was just a little bit too fiddly. But uh, the yarn itself is amazing. It's really um, um, so soft. And I think one skein is 50 grams. Yeah, 50 grams. It's 100% alpaca baby alpaca and it's 400 meters per 50 grams so that's 800 meters per 100 grams so that's yeah it's a lace weight so yeah i could hold it with another yarn um if i hold it double stranded by itself then i won't have enough um yeah so i'm wondering what to do with this either i use it with another yarn or i use a completely different yarn for the shawl or I use this yarn for a completely for a different shawl. That's also an option uh, because perhaps for a crochet shawl, uh, it would perhaps be thick enough. Um, so I'll think a bit more about that. I also got a skein of their hand dyed yarns. So here you can see uh, their logo. Bleiderigbrei by Jeanette and um, so their web shop is completely in um, Dutch so I'm not sure if you can order uh, if you're from abroad but um, you could always try um, she's very um, approachable she, she's just um, I bet she would be willing to figure it out um, if you lived abroad and you wanted to order something from her uh, they do have a, a lot of yarns they have a huge range of yarns uh, not everything is in their web shop so if you've seen something on her blog perhaps then you can also uh, send her an email um, yeah, it just, I've met her a couple times. She's a really, really sweet lady, and I'm glad that I finally have ordered something from her. Um, and this skein will be going in the Patreon prize basket. I'll be doing a giveaway rather soon, I think, but um, I'm not sure about sending packages to 
to other countries right now. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure when I'll be doing the giveaway, but keep your eyes out because this will be in it. My next thing is... I don't even know how to describe it, so here it is. Look at it. I know. It's a box of sock yarn minis. This is Scapius Metropolis. I think there are 80 balls in here. Because I think they have 80 colors. Let me just... Yeah, each one of these rows is 10 balls. Isn't that amazing? So let's actually open this. Can I open it? I think so. Because I imagine that if you fold it open, then you can see all colors at once. I imagine. They might just all fall out. But um, So a little disclaimer, I did not buy this myself. Um, Scapius sponsors me with yarn and uh, I have a really cool project in mind so they sent me a box of this. Um, <laughs> where do I open it now? Whoa! <laughs> okay, they almost went all over the place. Ah, uh, you can't see them on the inside. Um, maybe if I... I don't want them to all fall out. <gasps> there they are. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, I might just scoot back a little bit. <laughs> okay, you ready? <gasps> oh my god! I can't hold it up completely because otherwise they will fall out. Look at that! Wow. Wow. They are so pretty. And look how tiny! Look how tiny they are. So each ball is 10 grams. So this is basically a box of minis. So 10 grams, 40 meters, uh, which makes it a standard um, sock weight. That's 400 meters per 100 grams. Um, it's Scapius Metropolis. It's 75% uh, merino and 25% nylon. And as you can see, it comes in 80 colors. <laughs> oh boy. I really like this. Look at this one. That's a gorgeous yellow. They are all uh, city names. So this is Dhaka, D-H-A-K-A. -A. D -H -A -K -A, yes. <laughs> oh, here's also a very nice mustard. This one is Tehran. Oh, I've heard of that one before. T-E-H-R-A-N, Tehran. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but uh, yes. So, I have a plan for these, and it's gonna be amazing, amazing. Okay, if I do say so myself, uh, I'm just grabbing my current project, which has been on needles since, I think, December 30th. It was just before the end of the year just at the end of the year and uh, my patrons will already have seen this and I have finished the body and now I am on and now I am onto the sleeves and I'm just loving this I'm just loving this it's gonna be a colorwork sweater um, I always wondered why with colorwork sweaters it always stops at the yoke so I just did a full <laughs> colorwork body and the sleeves are gonna be all colorwork too and looking at it now I do understand I mean it's a lot of color it's a lot of colorwork 
So I understand that most designs stop at the yoke, but I just, I couldn't resist. So, uh, and also it's just so much fun. So, um, so I just whizzed through this. I think I had this finished in just a few weeks, actually. Uh, I think just under a month. And now it's kind of been languishing because I want to do all of the uh, calculations now and then do the sleeves. Um, yes, but now comes my fun idea. I'm going to make a second one using these. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, yes, it will be a riot of color, but I just, I can't wait to put all of these together. <sighs> and yeah, um, but it's, it's gonna be a while because first up is my, oops, first up is my shawl design. So I'm working on the pattern for this one right now, and also tutorial videos for my Patreon page. So that comes first, and then, you know, I have a couple of other projects, uh, so I'm not sure when I'll have enough time to work on this, but then I'll do uh, this pattern, and this will actually be a free pattern on my blog. Yes, a free, a free pattern. And my patrons will um, get all of the videos, so I'll be um, I'll be knitting the sweater again using these minis, and I'll be um, recording videos and putting that on my Patreon page, so uh, my patrons can knit their sweater along with me. And, and uh, as I just thought that was really fun. Um, yeah, and we can see each other's sweaters grow. So yeah, it will be a free pattern on my blog. So sometime this year, uh, I'm not sure when, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, I know that at the start of the year, I said it was going to be March and then the cozy moments make long happened. And, it, and then, you know, this whole situation happened. So I'm just it's a little bit up in the air right now, but it is coming, and uh, I hope we will all have new sweaters for um, when it starts to get a little bit colder again. So then your sweater will be finished. Yeah, but I'm just really looking forward to uh, casting that one on with my minis and um, and filming it and yeah it will be so much fun um, and I do hope that you will be joining along so um, and I will have more details um, closer to the time but for now you can look forward to the scent of the pine shawl which is this one and the make along for that and the, and the tutorials on my patreon page and if you've missed the previous podcast episode, so what I have in mind for my Patreon page is that um, at the $2 level, you get uh, sneak peeks, which is uh, what it is right now. And then at the $5 level, you will get tutorial videos. Uh, so for example, for the set of the pine shawl, and then at the $8 level, which is the willow tier, then you will get the free PDF pattern for that. And then at the $10 level, which is the elder tier, then you will get extra tips and tricks videos and just as, um, and just more of a designer's point of view on that pattern. And I think this will just be more clear to what each tier will get because up until now I've just I didn't really know what to offer for this tier and then what to offer for that tier. So um, if I do it like this it's more clear for myself and also more clear for my patrons. And of course a thank you to all of the patrons who are subscribed already. Um, your support means the world to me as it means that I can continue doing this and yeah, thank you all so so much. So that's it for my color work sweater. Do I have anything? Yes, I do still have one more thing. Is it one more thing? I think so. Yes, one more thing. So um, one of the yarn stores 
that I was planning to teach a workshop at is Sparkles Creative um, right up north in the Netherlands. This is their logo. Sparkles Creative. So yes, Sparkles Creative. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I ordered something from her and it's so cute. She, she sent me this lucky this lucky doll so cute and I ordered some yarn for a new sweater and this sweater will not be of my own design it will be the Leclerc sweater by Caitlin from Wool Jewel and I will put a picture of the sweater right here. I think it's super cute. It's a lace sweater and kind of like a boxy fit so a wide body and uh, kind of tighter um, sleeves. And I've been eyeing that sweater for a while as I think it's super cute. And uh, Caitlin is an, is an amazing designer, so I really want to make more stuff by her. And I got this yarn. So this is Scapius, but I did uh, buy it at the yarn store. Uh, this is not sponsored. So Scapius Merino Soft, which is 50% Superwash Merino, 25% Micro, and 25% Acrylic. Uh, so it will be really sturdy and durable while still being lovely soft and warm and I got seven skeins which I'm hoping well I think it's uh, I think it's enough it's uh, 105 meters per 50 grams so it's a DK weight and um, I I would need 600 something meters for uh, the sweater in my size yeah, and this color is just, um, it's a dark gray with a hint of blue. Um, or maybe, yeah, like a purplish blue, dark gray. It's really, really something. Um, this is the colorway 605, which is Hogarth. And these are all named after artists. I, I must admit that I don't know Hogarth, so I'm just going to look him up. Oh, that was really patriarchal of me to assume it is a man, but I do kind of assume it is a man. <sighs> yes. Yep. It's a man. <laughs> Nothing against male uh, artists, but yeah, there are so many of them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to knitting the Leclerc sweater. It's always just a breath of fresh air to um, knit a pattern by another designer. It's just, um, yeah, no pressure on me at that point. And I can just knit for the sake of knitting and yeah, really relax. So I look forward to that. I'll be casting on soon, I think. Um, so I think that was all that I ordered so far. <laughs> but yeah, it's I just want to highlight with this vlog that it's really important to keep supporting your um your favorite uh businesses. So whether that's your local yarn store uh, or your favorite indie dye or, or um, pattern designers, I did also buy some more patterns this month. And uh, one of those that I really want to share with you guys actually is the Sweetheart Bomber Jack. Or is it Bomber Yak or Bomber Jack? I don't know. I think it's Jack. Anyway, uh, I'll just say Bomber. <laughs> Anyway, the Sweetheart Barber Jack, I feel weird about it now. Anyway, by uh, the Poison Girls, I'll put a picture up here. It's super, super cute, and I want to make it so badly. And um, I have my eye on two shades of West Wool available at Stephen and Penelope. I won't tell you the shades because I don't want it to be sold out. <laughs> because I'm just... I'm holding off a little bit because I think, oh, do I really need to buy more yarn now? But actually, you know, now is the time. I just wish that I could find another uh, suitable yarn at a slightly smaller shop because I think Stephen and Penelope is going quite well, actually. So, um, 
I would actually like to support a smaller shop, but um, yeah, I'll just think about it. I think I might probably order it from them, but I'll think about it. <laughs> But yeah, if you've ever thought about uh, becoming a patron of your favorite yarn store or your indie dyer, um, there are several people out there who have Patreon accounts uh, or uh, perhaps they have a Ko-fi account, uh, which is kind of a... Um, you can buy them a virtual coffee, uh, so you can make a one-time donation, which is really easy, really um, inexpensive usually. I know that a lot of people are hesitant to try Patreon because they don't want to um, have another subscription somewhere, but, you know, it's usually only a very small amount per month. And by all means, if you don't want to uh, be stuck in a subscription, although you can cancel at any time, perhaps just buy a digital pattern, uh, not just for me, but also for other designers who are on Patreon or perhaps we're not on Patreon, just go and buy a PDF pattern. It, it really, it can make all of the difference. And um, for indie dyers, you know, um, look at uh, which stores might stock them so that the store and the indie dyer might profit from that. I've seen so many people share um, that they've bought something at uh, a local, um, a local business or a small business maybe it's not local to you but maybe it's online um, and then share that or maybe they can't buy anything but then they share their posts anyway just everything helps and especially in these times so yeah I think it's really heartwarming to see that in our craft community and I think it's also really important to keep uh, noticing our own privilege in this. Uh, I am very privileged because I was working from home anyway, I have a relatively stable income so it's important to stay aware of that and um, support where help is needed. So yeah. With that, I leave you to browse Ravelry for your next cast on and <laughs> please do share your own woolly goodies in the comments below. What have you bought in the last couple of weeks? Maybe something to soothe yourself. Uh, it doesn't even have to be wool. Maybe it's a scented candle or a bath bomb or whatever. Uh, tell me what you have bought to soothe yourself these past weeks and together we can get through all of this. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.